What's up, Wildcats? My name is Jonathan, and welcome to 5050, a body blast class that is half cardio and half core conditioning combined together in an amazing workout designed for you. Today, we're going to be moving and grooving for the next 30 minutes, working at a moderate to high intensity level, expanding our movement bubble through four planes of motion. Every exercise that we're going to do today is performed at 30 seconds of work, followed by 30 seconds of rest, going at our own pace with quality form. If at any point in time you need to take a quick break, whether it be water break or just to catch some air, listen to your body and do so. Once you have recovered, join back with us in the fun. Okay, whether you're new or a seasoned vet to the class, all we need are is our bodies, excuse me, and an awesome attitude. So, high five the person to your right, high five the person to your left, I got mine, and let's get started. All right, so starting off with our warm up, engaging in a light jog here. Good, nice and light on the feet here, keeping these hands open. From a side view, arms are at 90, knees are lifted just enough. All right, so in about five seconds, we're gonna switch into jumping jacks in three, two, one, and go. Again, making those arms nice and wide. There we go, awesome. So we're gonna slow it down just a little bit, there we go. It's a nice steady pace, we're just warming up the body, getting that heart rate up. Good, good. In about five seconds, we have ski jumps, getting our core warmed up, working on torque. Two, one, keeping those legs together. Arms at chest level. Great job, great job. Again, nice, light pace, steady pace. Afterwards, we got our mobilizers to warm up our muscles and joints in three, two, one, and rest. Let's do some Michael Phelps, all right? Getting ready for that swim, one arm over the other, feeling that stretch through the chest and the shoulders. Good job. We have shoulder rolls coming up next in three, two, one. Drop those arms down, shoulder rolls back. Let the shoulders do all the work. Good, good. Taking it forward in three, two, one, take it forward. All right, there we go. Let the arms hang by the torso. In a couple of seconds, we're gonna warm up our elbows with some elbow circles. In three, two, one, elbows by the side, hands open, turn those hands out. Good, it's a bit of a funky move. I call this the airplane rotors, but trust me, we're not gonna fly away. We're gonna stay right here. Let's go the other way. Awesome. Your elbows are gonna thank you, I, I guarantee you, I guarantee you. Next up, we're gonna take care of the wrists in three, two, one, and release those fingers. Wrist circles now. Good, there we go. Try and keep those joints healthy and mobile and fluid because the muscles and tendons and ligaments will respond the same way. Let's go the other way. Good, all right. Next up, we have spinal twists in three, two, one, arms at chest level, twisting from side to side, looking into the direction that we're twisting, getting that spine nice and warm, nice and fluid, nice and mobile. There we go. Next up, we got the hips in five seconds. Four, three, two, one, return to center. Next up, we got hip circles, hands on those hips, and bring it around town, working within a comfortable range of motion. Good, three, Two, one, other way. Great job, great job. All right, next up, we're gonna take care of our hamstrings in three, two, one. Good, from a side view. Feet together, place one heel on the floor with a straight leg, bend the other, and fold at the hips and swing those arms through those legs. Great job. All right, feeling that stretch through those calves, hamstrings, and glutes. Here we are for three, two, one, and rest. Last but not least, knee circles, another funky move, but trust me, your knees and ankles are gonna love it. Hands on the knees, small circles. Good. I guarantee you that this is going to be the next huge dance hit of the summer. Three, two, one, other way. Good. There we go. Keep it nice and small. Awesome, here we are for three, two, one, and rest. All right, ladies and gentlemen, great job with the warm-up. Starting up with our cardio, we have two rounds of four exercises. Once again, 30 seconds of work, 
followed by 30 seconds of rest. Starting off with our push-ups. Hands, feet, shoulder width apart, hips in line with the body, lowering our bodies down to the floor and pressing away. You can also opt out for plank up down, dropping down from high plank to low plank, or you can do a mountain climber with your push-ups. So let's get started in three, two, one, go. All right. Good, lowering that chest down as close to the floor as possible. Breathing in as we come down, breathing out as we press away. And once again, you can drop down to that plank up down, or you can incorporate those mountain climbers. Great job, halfway there, 15 seconds. Good, good, 10 more seconds. Loving it, awesome work, y'all. Go at your own pace. Here we are for three, two, one, and rest. Next up, we have alternating lunges. Keeping a tall torso, we're gonna take a comfortable step forward with the feet flat, legs both at 90, pressing away, switching to that other leg. You can also opt out for a static lunge. If you wanna make it a little easier, or if you wanna make it a little harder, you can go for jumping lunges. Again, keeping that torso nice and tall, going at your own pace. Let's get started. In three, two, one, go. Good job, there we go. Keeping that torso tall, hands are open. You can drive those arms up as well. Good work. Again, you can alternate. You can keep it static, or you can go for those jumping lunges. Great job. Good. 10 more seconds. There we go. Good, keep breathing. Match it with the movement. Three, two, one, and rest. Next up, we have our side leg raises. One foot is gonna bear all the weight. The other foot is gonna be lifted out in a straight line, working those abductors, working those gluteus medius. There we go. We're gonna to switch to one side for this first round, and then we'll switch to the other side for the second round. Okay, making sure that we're breathing out as we lift up, breathing in as we lower that leg down. Let's get started in three, two, one, and go. There we go, awesome. To make this movement a little easier, you can work with that sh shorter range of motion, making it comfortable for you. How's that feel, good? Great job. You can also keep it nice and slow, building that time under tension. It's gonna be a little challenging, yeah? So yeah, so you almost lose your balance, but hey brother, good work in maintaining that form. Great job. Here we are for five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Next up, we have plank jacks. So, plank jacks again from the side view. Setting up in the same position as we are for the push-ups, but you can also drop down to the forearms as well. You can jump the feet in and out, or to make it a little bit easier, you can walk the foot in and out like so, keeping those hips in line with the body. All right, let's get into position, ladies and gentlemen. Are you ready? Here we go. Three, two, one, and go. Good, there we go. Awesome job. Good, good. Again, go at your own pace. You can also go at a faster pace if you want that challenge. There we go, I see you back there. Awesome, great work, great work. 15 seconds, halfway there. Good, again, you can walk the feet out, walk the feet in, or you can jump. Here we are for five, four, three, two, one. Rest. Good, ladies and gentlemen. Grab some water. Let's do that again, starting off with the push-ups. All right, all right, by show of thumbs. <laughs> How's everyone feeling? Good, good? Uh, so, so, not today, no? Hey, everyone's got thumbs up. Two thumbs up, awesome. So, in about 10 seconds, we're gonna pick it up with the push-ups. All right, so let's get into position here. Starting up in three, two, one, and go. All right, breathing in as we come down to the floor, breathing out as we press away. Remember, you can also switch to those plank up downs to make it a little bit easier on you. Or you will can incorporate that mountain climber. There we go, awesome. Keeping those hips in line with the body. Great work, great work. All right, pick up those hips just a little bit. Awesome, we're here for five, four, three, two, 
one, and rest. All right, ladies and, ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> we are going to switch to lunges. Once again, torso nice and tall, taking that comfortable step forward, find, finding that solid foundation beneath our feet, legs at 90, press away. Once again, you can do those static lunges to make it easy on you, or switching for those plyometric jump lunges at your own pace. Three, two, one, go. All right, there we go. Great work. Again, go at your own pace, finding that solid foundation beneath your feet. Once again, you can do static lunges, or you can go for those plyometric lunges. Great work, everyone. 10 more seconds. You got this. I believe in you. Come on. Good work. Five, four, keep moving. Three, two, keep moving. One, and rest. Next up, we got side leg raises. So, the leg that you started off with round one, we're going to switch it on over to round two on the other side. So, all that weight is bearing on one leg. The other leg is lifted up at a comfortable height. Once again, you can shorten the range of motion to make it a little bit easier, or you can go for that time under tension. The king tuck, nice and slow, feeling that burn. Here we go, three, two, one, and go. Good, there we go. Keeping that leg nice and straight. Great job back there, awesome. Breathing out as we lift that leg up. Breathing in as we return that leg back to the center of the body, awesome. You can also have your hands on your hips as well, or you have your hands out to the side for balance. 10 more seconds. Good work. I just rubbed my tummy. <laughs> awesome. Five, four, three, two, one, and rest. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we have our plank jacks. Once again, starting off either in that high plank push up position or dropping down to our forearms. Always jumping the feet in and out or walking it. In and out. Once again, going at your own pace. All right, how's everyone doing? After this, we are gonna have a bit of a one minute active recovery. So let's fight for it. Let's go. Three, two, one, and go. There we go. Awesome job. Good. Lower those hips just a little bit. There we go. Awesome work. Awesome work. Again, you can. Jump those feet in and out, or you can walk it in, walk it out. There we go, and don't stop. Good work, there we go, come on, come on. Five, four, keep moving, three, two, keep moving, one, and rest. All right, we're gonna be here for a minute, ladies and gentlemen. Grab some water if you need to, catch your breath. All right. So that was it for our cardio uh, portion. Now we're gonna to move to core conditioning. This is where the real fun begins. Because ladies and gentlemen, we have a guest in today's show. You're gonna love him, you're gonna hate him, but hey, we're gonna keep ourselves moving. So, we're gonna start off the next round, the third round, with cross toe touches. So, we are gonna be laying flat on our backs. <laughs> Hands, arms and legs, excuse me, nice and straight. Lifting the shoulders off the ground, meaning opposite hand to opposite foot. You can also keep the legs bent and go for the knees. So that is an easier variation. Making sure that we're lifting those shoulders off the ground. Let's get started. In three, two, one, and go. Woo. There we go. Awesome. Great work. Again, breathing out as we're lifting those legs and arms. Up to the sky. Good job. Again, you can also bend those legs, going for the knees, or you can go outside of those knees, breathing out. 10 more seconds. You got this. Come on. I know it burns, but I believe in you. Good. Three, two, one, and rest. Next up, we're still going to stay seated because we have a classic Russian twist. So, with the Russian twist, you have the option to have your heels on the floor or those legs lifted either in a straight or in a cross formation. You can move those hands at a low position or you can keep those arms nice and straight. Whichever style is most comfortable for you, let's get it. And three, two, one, and go. Good, there we go. 
Twisting from side to side. Going at our own pace, making sure we're breathing in through the nose, out through the mouth. Great work. Again, you can lift those legs up. If you want that challenge, if you want a greater challenge, you can keep those arms nice and straight. There we go, 10 more seconds. You got this. Here we are, four, five, four, three, two, one, and rest. All right, ladies and gentlemen, our guest for today's show, like I said, if you love to hate it and you hate to love it, it's burpees, vitamin B, vitamin burpee. Once again, dropping down, either in a jumped form or walking into and out of that position, jumping up and high five to the sky. So go at your own pace, have some fun. Let's get started in three, two, one, go. Whoop, <laughs> whoop. Great work, great work. And go at your own pace. To make it a little bit harder, you can drop down into that push-up and then jumping up. Good. Or you can walk into and out of that plank position. There we go. High five back there. Awesome. Good work, good work. There we go. Five, four, three, two, one. And rest. See, it wasn't too bad. You got this. Next up, we have jumping jacks. Another classic. So, we're gonna go at a quicker pace here than what we did in the warm up. You can always opt out for walking jacks. Or if you wanna get a little bit plyometric here, star jumps. All right? So, catch your breath. Grab a quick sip of water if you need to. Let's get started in three, two, one, go. There we go. Awesome. Once again, going at your own pace, doing a traditional jumping jack or a walking jack. And for those that are daring, star jumps. There we go. Awesome job. You're a star. <laughs> Good work. 10 more seconds. You got this, I believe in you. All right, here we are. Four, five, four, keep moving. Three, two, keep moving. One, and rest. Great work. Grab some water. And let's start back up with cross toe touches. So, we're gonna start off laying flat our backs here. Get arms, legs extended, or keeping the legs bent. Reaching for those knees, or reaching for those toes. Going at your own pace here. Let's get started in four, three, two, one, and go. There we go. Again, going at your own pace here. Great job. There we go. Good, try and keep that leg straight. If you think about it, you're gonna get two for one special. Working that rectus abdominis, the front part of our core, also strength, uh, stretching our hamstrings. Great work, 10 more seconds. I'm gonna finish with you. There we go. Those with the legs bent, reach outside those knees. Here we are for three, two, one, and rest. Next up, ladies and gentlemen, going back to those Russian twists. For those that have the heel on the floor, I challenge you to lift that leg up. And once we are halfway there through the set, switch for the other 15, okay? You can do that for me? Awesome, high five. There we go. Once again, going at your own pace here, keeping the arms low or straight out if you want that challenge. Here we go. Again, working with comfortable range of motion at our own pace. Again, for those that have those heels on the floor, you have three, two, one, and switch. Lift that leg up. There we go. You can also straighten those arms out to the side. Keep it nice and controlled here. Deep breaths. Here we are. Four, five, four, three, two, one, and rest. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we have arrived at our last set of burpees. Last set, best set, let's bring it. You got it, I believe in you, as always. And I'll be doing this with you as well. So again, you can walk into it, you can jump into it, you can add a push-up. There's so many variations that best fits your style. Explore it. Let's get started in five, four, three, two, one, and go. There we go. Awesome, awesome. High 
five. <laughs> Great job. Great job. Another variation that you can also do if you want that greater challenge. Tuck jump. Tuck jump. There we go. Ten more seconds. Or you can walk into it. Stand up. That's another variation to make it easy. Good job. Here we are for three, two, one, and rest. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we've made it to our last movement pattern, our goal-based movement pattern, and those are the jumping jacks, okay? Once again, going at a quick pace and our standard jacks or switching out for those walking jacks or the star jumps because you're a star, absolutely. So, are you ready to finish this? Let's go in five, four, three, two, one, go. Good, go to the beat of the song. There we go. For those that are performing the standing jacks, for those that are doing the walking jacks, I'm already losing my breath, but hey, I'm fighting, you're fighting, we're fighting to the end. Those doing the star jumps, I got you. There we go. Five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Awesome work, ladies and gentlemen. Awesome work. Grab a sip of water. Let's cool down. Stretch it out before we start our day. Good work. Good work. All right. Let's tap it out to the beat. Good. Lowering that heart rate down. Taking those deep breaths in through the nose, out through the mouth. Good job. All right, shake those arms out if you need to. I know they must be on fire alongside with those legs. But hey, you put in good work. Physical fitness, physical activity, exercise, one of the best investments that you can make in your lives. I consider it to be the best stock that you can invest in because the more you put into it, the more benefits you're gonna reap once you cash in. And those could be acute benefits and those could be long-term benefits. But it always starts at that foundation of making sure that we leave better than when we came in. All right, let's slow it down. Good. Tap from side to side. All right, we got 15 seconds left in this cool down walk. Good, shake those arms out. And we're moving to our static stretches. Good work. Starting off with our wings in prayer. We're gonna move into that slightly wider in the shoulder with stance, soft bend in the knees, hands to the chest. We're gonna inhale the arms out, palms toward the sky, exhale forward. Good work. Take a nice deep breath in. Exhale forward, good. Breathe in and out. Good, we wanna breathe diaphragmatically. Again, through the stomach, not through the lungs. Good, breathe in. Fill that stomach with air. Exhale, let it escape your body, warm your body. There we go, we got two more. Exhale, good, last one, breathe in and out. All right, ladies and gentlemen, interlace those fingers behind your back. Pull all the way down, standing up nice and tall, feeling that stretch through the chest and the shoulders. Good, control the breath. Good, in through the nose, out through the mouth. There we go, relax the face. Good job, good job. All right, we're here for a few more seconds. In five, four, three, two, one. Next up, we're gonna cross that arm over. Good, across the chest, other hands on that shoulder, feeling it through the back of the shoulders, back of the deltoids. Good. In a couple of seconds, we're gonna lift that arm up for a tricep lat stretch. In three, two, one, lift that arm up, pulling down on the elbow, leaning out to the side. You can also look up towards the sky if you want to. Deep breaths here. Five, four, three, two, one, and up. Let's switch to the other side. Bring that arm across that chest. Other hand on that shoulder. Give yourself a pat on the back for a job well done. Yeah. All right, lifting that arm up in three, two, one. Lift that arm up. Pulling down on the elbow, leaning out to the side for that quick lat stretch. Deep breaths here, ladies and gentlemen. You got this. Five, four, three, two, one, and up. Next up, we got our quad stretch. So 
if you need to use the bar or the wall, or hey, use your neighbor, get to know him a little bit. Grab that ankle, driving that heel to the butt, bringing that knee down, pushing that hip forward just a smidge, just a little bit. Feeling that stretch through that thigh. Good work, good work. Again, deep breaths here. Five, four, three, two, one. Let's switch to the other side. There we go. Again, switch to another neighbor, get to know them. Ask them how their day is so far. There we go, awesome work, awesome work. 20 more seconds in the stretch here. Once again, pushing that hip forward, it's gonna allow ourselves to get a deeper stretch here. Good, inhale through the nose, letting the air fill our stomachs, letting that warm our bodies as we exhale. Good, five, four, three, two, one. All right, so we're gonna make our way down to the floor here we have our hamstring stretch. So what we're going to do, we're gonna tuck one leg in, straighten the other leg out. So you have nice and tall here, we're gonna inhale the arms up and exhale fold. You can wrap the fingers around the toes, around the ankles, placing your hands on the shins. Or hey, if you want to, you can also wrap them around the heel, whichever position you find most comfortable. There we go, breathe in through the nose, out through the mouth. We're here for three, two, one, Exhale up, good, let's switch to the other side. Once again, tucking that leg in, sending the other out. Sitting up nice and tall here, we're gonna inhale the arms up. Exhale forward, good. Once again, wrapping those fingers around the toes, ankles, placing them on the shins, or around the heels. Good, deep breaths here. All right, we have five, four, three, two, one, and up. Now we're gonna switch over in a prone position on our stomachs, hands by the chest, take a nice deep breath in, and as we exhale, we enter into Cobra Pose. Good, breathing in through the stomach, we're gonna expand that abdominal wall, stretching it out, exhale, letting that breath warm our bodies, breathe in, and exhale, good job, good job, breathe in, exhale, good work, breathe in, and out, all right, last one, breathe in, exhale, good. So from here, we're gonna transition into child's pose. So we're gonna lower our bodies down towards the floor. Then we're gonna push ourselves back, bringing the hips close to the heels, extending those arms and hands forward. Good, there we go. Taking a nice deep breaths in and out through the nose and the mouth respectively. Good, good, there we go. Awesome job, awesome job. And we're gonna be here for a couple more seconds and then we're gonna pick ourselves back up because I have an awesome message for you all, okay? Good work. 15 more seconds, 15 more seconds. Good. For those of you may be wondering what the song is, this is Return to Innocence by Enigma. It's a classic, helps me calm down after my workouts. Good, here we are for three, two, one, and slowly, slowly rise up to a standing position. There we go. Great job, everyone. Good work today. We just covered eight exercises for two rounds each. And hey, don't we all feel good? We got our sweat going on. But hey, we're starting our day right by investing in ourselves and our bodies, okay? So congratulations. I hope to see you all next class. Always remember to stay strong, move with a purpose, and that you're a champion all day, every day. And if you have any questions, please feel to you know, stick around for a couple of minutes. For those that are new, I would love to meet you, okay? So take care, have an awesome day.